The appointed hour for the end of days has come and gone and still no apocalypse. For months, believers shouted the May 21st doomsday message far and wide. In fact, many gave away their earthly possessions or drained their saving accounts. Tonight, they're left asking, what happened? I don't understand what has happened, why there's no visible sign. A few minutes after the clock struck six, a baffled Robert Fitzpatrick was surrounded by a heckling crowd in Times Square, looking less like a prophet of doom and more like Chicken Little. The retired NTA worker had spent $140,000 of his life savings on subway and bus ads to spread the word that the apocalypse would start today. Well, I expected the earthquake to begin right around 6 o'clock. It looks like God is giving us a break. I, I don't know. I understand why. Fitzpatrick got the idea from 89-year-old Christian broadcaster Harold Camping, who convinced thousands of followers the world would end today. Everything had to come from the Bible. It could not come by a dream or a vision or a voice. Everything that I saw in the Bible directs us to this day, this year, and this time. Fitzpatrick wasn't the only one who took serious bets on the doomsday prediction. Some believers bought RVs plastered with their message and spent their days handing out leaflets. And camping is said to have collected millions of dollars in donations, even as much of the country called him crazy. That man is a liar. Jesus said no man knows the day and the hour. Camping once before set a date for the apocalypse in September of 1994. Now that he's struck out twice, what's next for followers like Robert Fitzpatrick? I'll just resume my normal life if I can. I've got to do some shopping, but I let my groceries run down. Well, the world has yet to hear from Harold Camping on why he thinks his prediction didn't come true this time. Fitzpatrick believes Camping spent the day in California with his family praying. He didn't seem angry with him just confused. A Christian broadcaster's poor track record of predicting the end of the world just got worse. There's no last day. Did God call him on the royal telephone and say, hey, it's gonna be today? Even Jesus didn't know, so if he didn't know, this guy doesn't know either. Non-believers taking parting shots at the 89-year-old head of family radio, the man behind the Judgment Day prediction, Harold Camping. His 1994 end of the world prophecy was obviously wrong. This time, he predicted a global earthquake on May 21st at 6 o'clock in every time zone would trigger the rapture in which the believers would be whisked up to heaven and the non-believers would suffer through hell on earth until the bitter end on October 21st. I don't believe this at all. It's a whole bunch of garbage, to be honest. Just publicity to get to fund the campaign. We took an early dinner. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you're preparing. Yeah. Yesterday, even the mayor cracked a few Judgment Day jokes. You know, if it does tomorrow, uh, it does end tomorrow, alternate side parking will be suspended. Camping disciple Robert Fitzpatrick told me this morning he'd be spending his last day catching up on some emails and visiting his mother at her nursing home. The 60-year-old retired MTA engineer poured most of his life savings, $140,000, into a New York City transit ad campaign to warn people of this supposed day of doom. What happens when the clock strikes 10 after 6, nothing's happened? I wouldn't think about that. I, I, I wouldn't consider it. I'm so certain that this is it. And so it's back to work on Monday, and alternate side of the street parking will be in effect. In Times Square, Ellen Marks, PIX11 News. And good news, we're all still here. The predicted apocalypse has passed, but it's still got a lot of people talking. We caught up with some New Yorkers to get their take on the so-called Day of Rapture. The whole universe is going to be destroyed by fire. No fire, no global calamity. Doomsday came and went, and humankind has survived. I thought it was totally ridiculous, and we were in the subway, and we were like, oh, this is the worst place to be, and then we laughed, and that was it. Didn't take it seriously. Despite months of apocalyptic warnings from Christian broadcaster Harold Camping, New Yorkers stayed pretty calm. It could be like a Jim Jones thing. Get a group of people that thinks the same, have the same fears, and um, manipulate them, it's like a cult, you know. Um, I guess you give power to things based on when you give it, give it your belief. 
Camping predicted that a series of earthquakes would destroy the world at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And a ticket to heaven has a pretty heavy price tag. Some spent their life savings to spread his word. But many of the non-believers cashed in on the so-called end of days by selling t-shirts in Times Square. This guy just picked out random parts of the Bible and so it had the word torment in the Bible. It doesn't mean that we're going to be tormented for five months. Tonight, it appears heaven could wait and the city carries on. No man knows the day, the time or the hour. Only the Father knows. Camping hasn't come forward yet with an explanation on his failed prophecy.